Hi friends, welcome to Code Jana and in this video we are going to take a look at how to install multiple packages through pip install. So I'm going to open this image uploader project that I have created. So let's open it because I want to show you why you need to install multiple packages. So let's right click it and open with code. Wonderful. Now if you don't have this context menu option like right clicking and open with code option you can also do file and then open folder that will open the whole folder inside of it and uh, after that you can access each individual file from here okay so i've created this really simple flask app to just upload this image to this uh, you know dummy project so let me just run this flask server so first of all we are going to activate our virtual environment which is venv scripts and then activate wonderful now simply type python and then start dot py and now we are going to open the page here so it's really simple it's just uh, the html looks like this this so again it has nothing fancy in it no css nothing so let me show you what happens when i upload the image so let me just upload this image and update and as you can see that the image is currently being displayed so we are not going to get into this image uploader in this video but i'm going to make a video on it separately please leave your comments down below so that i can know if you're interested in something like this anyways the purpose of this is that all of these dependencies are installed when we begin writing our code and it creates this virtual environment folder then library and then all of these side packages now some of these side packages you don't need but it still creates them now why do you need to download multiple packages from pip install well you cannot install every single packages by hand but when you're working with a server and the project is just so huge that there are a lot of dependencies now this is just a single page application but I have created a full-fledged working app in Flask and there are a lot of dependencies in it. You can check out my Flask course on CodeJana itself. So now, back to the point here. Why do you need it? Well, there are so many packages here, right? What you can do is just copy this whole VENV folder to your server and everything will be fine, right? However, when you open this folder on desktop, and then this image uploader folder nothing looks out of the ordinary right but let's see how many files these two folders have these are 3069 files now even if the folders just have 57 mb of data it is going to take a lot of time now depending on the server you are purchasing the speed will be a lot faster if you download and install it on the server itself so you don't actually copy and paste this venv folder when you start deploying your website so that's why you need this feature to install multiple libraries at the same time so the feature is really you just have to have a simple command all right so i'm going to just close this server now i want you to look here carefully so we are going to freeze all the requirements of this project now the requirements are the dependencies meaning the libraries all right so let's do pip and then so this command is actually going to show all the dependencies that this project currently has even if you didn't download and install them individually all the related dependencies of this project are going to be listed here and it is often best to just copy this whole file create a text file and then just upload it to server and run pip install via that file command all right however there's a much simpler command all right you can do pip freeze then greater than sign after space another space and then requirements.txt now pay close attention at the left side here on the on this left sidebar i'm going to press enter and it has generated requirements.txt within few seconds all right now let's click on it wonderful so all of these files that you have seen here now the convention is this the name of the library then double equals and then this is the version number 
so by this method if you actually want to downgrade or upgrade a version and mind you it should have an upgraded version so if that's the case if you want to upgrade any version or downgrade it you just need to have that version number edit this file and when you run pip install and then this requirements.txt it is going to download all the files all the libraries from here and you're good to go your project will work flawlessly you won't have to worry about some dependency being missing now that we have created this file how do you actually download from it all right so i've cleared the screen with cls command now if you want to install via this requirements.txt the command is really so simple so you just have to do pip install and then dash r all right dash r is a flag for downloading all of these files recursively means when one is installed you need to go over to next one without the interruption of the user or the client or the person sitting in front of this computer all right so now just uh, tell them the path of this particular file so simply type requirements and press tab it will automatically fetch that file now currently i already have this file inside this image uploader folder so that is my current directory now press enter and see now you can see that it has requirement already satisfied message here because well all of these files are already in my particular project in my venv and then library and then you know site packages folder so if you don't have it if you run this command you have this file then all of these libraries are going to be installed in a jiffy that's how you install multiple packages via pip install dash r and requirements.txt now you can name this file anything it's up to you and you can also edit this file according to your will and you can edit this file according to your will suppose you don't need things and you gotta be sure that you don't need a particular library so you can delete it it's just that simple so thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one please if you have gained anything from this video Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Coachana. Take care. Bye-bye.